Welcome everyone. In this lesson, we are going to be setting up our Unity project so that in the future we can easily just jump straight in and get working with AR Foundation. So here I am inside the Unity Hub and the first thing we want to do is make sure that we have either the Android or iOS build platforms installed. So I'm going to go to the Installs tab here, uh, find my Unity version that I'll be using and then click on the little three dots here, then go Add Modules and you need to make sure that you either have Android here with Android SDK and NDK tools enabled and installed or iOS build support enabled and installed. Um, you can just enable this then click done and that will begin installing. Um, I'm using Android for my example because I am working on a Windows PC so uh, building to iOS is not possible but if you are working on a Mac computer you can build to iOS. So make sure that you have those uh, either, the, either the Android or the iOS modules installed and then we can go to projects and then we can click on the new button right here and create our new Unity project. Alright, so here we are inside of Unity. Uh, to begin, let's go up to File, Build Settings and inside of this Build Settings window what we want to do is first of all switch over to our desired platform that we want to build to. Um, this can be either Android or iOS. In my case, I'm building to Android so I'm going to select the Android platform right here now you do need to make sure that you do have either the Android or iOS platform um, installed as a module onto your Unity version and do know also that if you are working on a Windows computer um, you cannot actually build to an iOS device so only on, an, only on a Mac computer can you build to iOS so in our case we're going to be building to Android so select your build platform right here and then just click on switch platform um, it shouldn't take too long since we do have an empty project, so uh, this should pretty much go ahead pretty fast, just like that. And now, as you can see, oh, she's doing a bit more here. And now, as you can see at the top here, it says Android instead of PC, Mac, and Linux standalone. Now, the last thing we want to do here in build settings is click on the Add Open Scenes button right here to just add our current scene to the build settings as this is the scene that we want to launch when we actually play the game. So we can close out of that now. And what we want to do is actually import the packages that we're going to be using for this app. Now we need to first of all install the AR Foundation package and then also either the AR Core or AR Kit plugin uh, depending on what you're going for. Remember that AR Core is the Android AR system and AR Kit is the iOS AR system. So let's go up to Window, Package Manager, and inside of the Package Manager here, what you want to do is just wait for all the packages to load here. And we want to install, first of all, the AR Foundation package. So we'll just click on Install here. And this just has all the basic features of AR Foundation, um, connecting the two SDKs to Unity, and being that actual in-between uh, between your app and the two SDKs, just so it's fairly easy and straightforward to actually develop for both, whereas you don't have to have separate projects if you're working for iOS and a separate project for Android. You can all work in the exact same project using AR Foundation. Now, like I mentioned, if you're working on Android, you need to install the AR Core uh, XR plugin right here, or if you're working on AR Kit, so iOS, you install the AR Kit XR plugin here. We're working for Android, so I'm going to install the AR Core XR plugin here. Just click install. Um, and also, if you do want to, you know, publish for both, maybe um, you could install both of these plugins as well. Okay, now that we have that installed, we can get out of the package manager here, and let's just set up some of the actual um, player settings for this app. Because when we build it, we need to set up a few things. Um, so let's do it now. So we'll go edit, project settings, and inside of the project settings window here. We first of all want to go to our player settings and in here what we can do is set up a few things. First of all, for the company name, this isn't really necessary so you can have this as your company or just have it as the default one here. Uh, for the product name, this is what's actually going to be showing um, on the actual app. The little icon, this is going to be the name of the app so I'm just going to call this our AR Foundation Intro. And down here then in the uh, Android settings or iOS if you have that enabled, um, we can skip over resolution and presentation since we don't really need to uh, mess with anything in there. Uh, in other settings though, what we need to do is enable auto graphics API. 
Uh, we also then need to come down here to our package name and fill this in. This is basically our unique identifier for our app. Um, so the way this normally works is you have com, then dot your company name, then dot your product name. So I'm going to replace company here with Zenva, and product name here with, um, we're just going to call this AR Foundation Intro. Now, you can call this whatever you want, it doesn't have to be tied to a specific company or product, this is just a way to uniquely identify your app uh, on your device. Uh, something else we also need to set is a minimum API level uh, for the app as we don't want this running on devices that can't actually support it and it is a requirement so we need to set our minimum API level here for Android we need to set this to 24 so down here Android 7.0 we'll click on that and there we go uh, the rest of the other settings here should be fine um, down in XR settings you may see that it says AR Core uh, supported now we don't need to enable this as we are using AR Foundation technically but if you are creating a app that is just using the AR Core SDK and not AR Foundation then you would have to enable it but since we are using since we are going through AR Foundation uh, we don't need to tick this now something else we also need to do is go down here to where it says XR and it says you must create a specialized instance of the settings data in order to modify the settings of this UI so we'll just click on create here it'll ask us to save this somewhere so we'll just save it right here and there we go and we just want to change this from required to optional now with that all set up uh, our app is pretty much ready to go if we were to plug our phone in and build this to there we would see that the app works uh, but nothing really would happen because we actually haven't even set up um, anything for AR at the moment. So the way we can do that is by right clicking here in the hierarchy and we need two things for this. So let's go XR and we want to add in an AR session origin. This basically defines the center of the world. This defines the origin and if we click on this you'll see that it has the AR session origin um, script right here and as a child it also has a camera. Now this is the AR camera that is what you'll see. It will be rendering what your camera sees behind it. And any sort of AR features inside of Unity will be on top of that. Um, there's a few scripts here that manage all that. So what we can actually do is delete the existing main camera right here. And let's change this AR camera's uh, tag to main camera as this is now the main camera. Now along with this object, we also need to have a XR AR session right here. This is what maps out our AR world. And with that, we are pretty much done. Um, in the next lesson, what we're going to do is set it up so that we can actually see uh, the planes that are being detected and actually learn how to build this to our device. So I'll see you all then in the next lesson.